forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you have given us your own mother Mary, whose wonderful image we venerate, to be our mother ever ready to help us. Grant, we pray, that we who continually seek her motherly aid may be found worthy to enjoy increasingly the fruit of our redemption. You live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. For the accuser of our comrades 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is my first celebration of Holy Mass, and I have written the ordinary celebrated votive of our mother of perpetual succor, the image of our blessed lady particularly loved by the redemptorists, which we've looked after for 150 years, and of course in this church where it's doubly blessed, we have her behind the high altar and in her own special chapel. And one of the things I particularly like about the image of our mother of perpetual succor is that her hand is grasped by the hands of the infant Jesus, and it's just over her womb, I suppose. And that makes us think particularly in Advent, the reason for our celebration, the reason that we've got these, these weeks in preparation for Christmas is because of what happened there in the womb of our blessed lady, the incarnation, God himself becoming flesh, the, 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 the mystery of our faith, which I think we can become a bit humdrum. We, we love the, the, the nativity scenes, the nativity plays, we're looking forward to Christmas, and perhaps, perhaps it's become over familiar, the stupendous idea that the creator of the entire universe spent nine months in the womb of his mother, that the one who is the source of all being holds everything that is in existence lay in a little manger and cried for a mouthful of milk. That's at the heart of our faith, and that, in the icon of our mother of perpetual succor, is something we can read out of it, something that we can learn about our faith by contemplating the image of our blessed lady. So please keep praying for me. Um, it's often said that the, the the worth, the value of one mass is utterly, utterly indescribable. It's beyond comprehension. So once I said one mass, then all my years in seminary, my studies, my formation, it's all worth it. If, if I die tomorrow having said one mass, it will all be worth it. Now please God, I won't. <laughs> but it will all be worth it once I've done uh, this one. So thank you very much. Keep me in your prayers. And keep praying for more good, solid young adventurists. God bless.
Let's pray. O oh Lord, through your kindness and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin and Mother Mary, may this offering be down to our present and eternal prosperity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We especially praise you and proclaim your glory as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. She received your word from the purity of her heart and, conceiving in her virgin womb, gave birth to our Saviour and so nurtured the church at its very beginning. She accepted God's parting gift of love as she stood beneath the cross and so became the mother of all those who were brought to life through the death of her only son. She joined her prayers with those of the apostles as together they awaited the coming of your spirit and so became the perfect pattern of the church of prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she cares for the pilgrim church with a mother's love, following its progress homeward until the day of the Lord dawns in splendor. Now with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Christ. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly in your own Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, all they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the situation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and count to the flock of those who have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask the Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your Lord on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation in your death receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Bless also your servants, through those sinners, hope in your abundant mercy. Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Pius, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellus, Peter, Felicitas, Petua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Celia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their comfort, not being our meds, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from any evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
We beseech you, O Lord, to make the glorious intercession of your Immaculate Mother and ever Virgin Mary. Help free us from all dangers, and by her goodness, bring together in love those upon whom she showered her never failing blessings. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So, um, before the final lesson, there are a couple of things I like to do. One of the traditions in the church is that the special cloth used to bind the hands of the priest of ordination and to wipe the oil of prison is saved and given to the priest's mother. And the tradition is that in her coffin, she'll have the same cloth in her hands. And when she comes before the Lord in judgment, she'll say, I gave my son to you as a priest. So I've saved that cloth and I have it for my mother here. some flowers as well, which are, are on their way. And because um, we've celebrated the Rosary Mass of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, I'll have some flowers for our Blessed Lady as well, and I'll lay them at the shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, and the Redemptorist present can sing the English Arm.
May God, the Father of lights, who is pleased to enlighten the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit of Paraclete, grant you gladness by his blessing, and may you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the confession of one faith, give you perseverance.